Hello all you Network Voyagers, this is Alonzo and uh, today we're going to be doing a video on uh, creating VLANs and VTP domains and uh, configuring trunks. Um, I have my blog which I'm currently uh, hosting here, NetworkVoyage.com. I'm going to be uh, uploading my study notes that I make personally and uh, you can, you're can you free to use them, you're free to uh, check them out and consult on them, collaborate. Right now I'm studying for the ICD2 exam and what I've done is gone to Cisco's website and I have broken down their their topics on what could be on the exam and this is their number one topic here and then I've gone and I've added my, my quick little study notes here and uh, and then I have links to my YouTube channel where you can click you know you click there and it'll take you to my YouTube channel right now I have one video but um, I'm actively going to be uploading new content so please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'd love to hear from you and let's take it from there so today we have a 3500 switch connected on fast ethernet 23 going to fast ethernet 24 on the 2950 switch kind of looks like this on the topology view and I've already made it a dot one cute trunk if you look at the properties here it's forwarding spanning tree um, take a look here and we will connect to switch one and we'll connect to switch two and we'll get this guy started All right. so all passwords are Cisco for this lab and we're going to do a show VTP status and we're going to see that they're both defaults from the factory they both have configuration re revision numbers of zero they're both servers and they don't have a domain name so let's go ahead and give them a domain name okay these are older switches so we're gonna go to VLAN database and we're gonna create a VTP domain of network voyage dot com now let's go network voyage a VTP password of Cisco Exit. all right so here we're gonna go to VLAN database and create a VTP domain of network voyage VTP password of Cisco and these are case sensitive so now you see here we have network voyage as the domain and I'll do a show VTP status and network voyage there too notice we still have the revision number of zero because we haven't created any VLANs uh, that revision changes anytime there's a higher number uh, switch in the domain and he's uh, actively a server or when there's an actual VLAN change so let's look at the VLANs, we'll show VLAN brief we can see that we have VLAN 40 in here and 77 and over here we only have 77 so that should let's create let's create another VLAN create VLAN 95 okay we've just created that now let's do a show VLAN brief over here and now we should have yeah we got them all see right there on switch one made a change so that immediately triggered a VTP update or advertisement to the second switch which is in the same VTP domain the same passwords configured so it's gonna inherit uh, whatever the the server told it so it inherited VLAN 40 which is test VLAN and VLAN 95 as you can see so that's how you configure VTP domains and you can do password uh, right now Cisco's of the opinion that you should probably stay away from VTP because there's been so many problems in the industry that uh, they I don't think they really recommend it at this point they recommend you just statically assign your VLANs and uh, you just chunk your VLANs across your domain however you see fit but of course that gets complicated in management so it's basically your call um, so in order to get the trunk link going what I've done is let's take a look at fast ethernet 23 and let's take a look at fast ethernet 24 on this side so as you can see the command here is switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q for this particular iOS running on this older switch and then I went ahead and gave it a native VLAN of 77 and I matched it up on this side um, the native VLAN is basically an untagged VLAN and it's primarily an unused VLAN right unless you're gonna use it for management or some kind of 
you know non-routed protocol or something um, you can keep it on that on that native VLAN because anything on the native VLAN is untagged that's basically the rule of, of thumb so uh, it's also a good security feature so you don't have to you know worry about VLAN hopping which is another topic you might want to look at in Cisco studies um, basically that's all you have to do to configure the dot one Q trunk okay you basically go into the interface mode and you're going to do a switch port trunk native command and you're going to tell it what VLAN that you created um, in this particular instance it's VLAN 77 and that's it it's also good to uh, put a description on your switches so on your interfaces so I'm going to go back in here for administrative purposes and put description uh, I'll put I'll put dot one Q trunk to switch to that way if somebody's coming in after you and they're looking at your configuration they can see uh, what where this is going and then same thing on this guy config interface fast ethernet 24 I'll put a description of uh, dot one Q trunk from switch one basically it for this video I'm going to uh, end it right there if you have any questions uh, post them on my blog or my YouTube channel and uh, we'll take it from there and see where we can go thank you very much have a good day